Hello YouTubers. Another installment of my candle flicker LED projects that I've been working on. Uh, I already put two together. This is the third. Uh, this one in particular is designed specifically around the concept of making incandescent lights flicker like a candle. As you can see I got my little Halloween skull and crossbones candelabra with 110 incandescent light bulbs and I've got uh, my little circuit that I'm going to show you in a second that uh, controls it and everything is based around the candle flicker LED like the past two videos no Arduinos, no programming, no fancy uh, uh, gear or electronics very basic and it works really well as you can see it uh, flickers the incandescent bulbs just like a candle and uh, they're a little bit brighter in the video than they are in real life. The effect is much better when you get a little bit of an orange glow on the, on the uh, incandescent bulbs. Let me turn on the light and I will realign the camera to show you the schematic. Let's see. Alright. Let's zoom in. And... Okay okay this is the schematic what we have here is it'll run on 6 to 12 volts we've got our incandescent I'm sorry our candle flicker LED here with a 1k resistor acting like a voltage divider that is feeding into this 2N 3904 transistor configured as an emitter follower so it amplifies current not voltage and that goes into the input side of an MOC 3023 which is an optocoupler with a triac output and it comes out and it goes through a LED. This LED is kind of important because this thing has a uh, fixed output voltage and uh, you need this LED to overcome that voltage. This LED should be any LED that's going to have a forward voltage drop of greater than 3 volts. This whole circuit is controlling the triac output. Now, the triac output of the optocoupler controls the input of this power triac. The power triac is a BT136-600E, rated for 600 volts and 4 amps. Okay, this is configured like your standard dimmer control switch in your uh, in your house uh, you got your uh, resistor going to a uh, capacitor that sets up a time constant that triggers your diac which triggers your triac which controls your load which is a, a light bulb here and I also incorporate a fuse for safety so I got 120 volt mains coming in and it's being totally controlled by the triac now the internal triac of the optocoupler is controlling when, how much, uh, how, how uh, often this triac is being triggered. During normal operation, both of these transistors are in series feeding this capacitor and you've got a fixed time constant. What I'm doing here to get the flicker is I put the triac and the optocoupler across this resistor. So when this flicker LED turns on it feeds a signal through the optocoupler and shorts out through this resistor so this resistor is removed from the picture and only this resistor is your uh, resistor for the uh, RC time constant that triggers the triac to trigger the load. So this being shorted and open, shorted and open is what's giving you the flicker effect on the bulb. But uh, I built this because I've been trying to come up with a candle flicker effect on uh, 110 bulbs for quite a while now and I finally came up with this solution. It's the easiest, most elegant, fewest amount of parts and as you can see, it works pretty darn good. So I hope that you get some use out of it. I hope you enjoy uh, using it. But be careful, it is 120 volts mains. This is live. This can kill you. So unless you know what you're doing, 
don't even attempt to use this circuit. If you're familiar with electricity and mains voltages and safety rules, good luck. I hope you enjoy. And I will close by showing you the candelabra again. Let me zoom back out. Let's center it up. And I'll kill the light so you can see the effect of its own natural light. I hope you like it. I hope uh, you enjoy it safely. Have a good one. And uh, happy Halloween next year or this year or whatever. Good luck.